All right, do you want to start off talking about the game tomorrow against Orlando? Yep. Uh, okay. Hi, guys. Uh, this game is all the way now. Um, so it's the first uh, time that we have only two days between uh, two resting days between games. So um, it's uh, important that we are using all the time to recover, and um, everybody knows that it's a it's a totally different um, uh, temperature when we come there. Uh, so um, we uh, we have to be prepared of uh, what's coming, um, and we had. A, Luckily, we had a game against Miami for one week ago, so we know what we what we're gonna go to go through. Um, and uh, I think uh, we have to take a lot of the things that we did in that game with us, and uh, also things that we can do better as well to to get an even better performance. And if we do that, we have a good chance to to get three new points. So that's uh, that's of course the goal. Um, Injury-wise, um, we are uh, the same. Um, there's no new injuries, so that's that's positive. Um, Maxi just trained with us uh, this week. Uh, I think he will be available for Sunday, uh, but not tomorrow. Uh, I think it's too early. I need to have no more training with the team. But he feels really good and, and looks very good as well. So um, so we are happy for that. Um, yeah, so so that's the overall view. All right, I think I forgot to turn the video on. All right, we'll kick it off with uh, Roberto. Can you see Ronnie now, guys? Uh, well, I see. It. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we got you. All right, very good, Ronnie. Uh, good morning. Um, Teams normally learn a lot more in losses than they do in victories, which sometimes mask uh, some of the possible issues that, that, that a team may have. Um, and the point I'm getting to is, does this team now, with all the injuries and Matrizza leaving, have enough depth, not to compete, because we that's obvious that you do, but the ultimate goal is to win a championship. And does this team right now, as constituted, have enough depth to be able to go all the way? Because that's what this built, what this team was built for. Yeah, so that's uh, that's that's possible, of course. Uh, I think uh, to win a championship, we're talking about winning the league. That's the toughest part when you don't have a big enough squad. Uh, we have had that uh, during the season, but uh, now we are less. That's uh, that's for sure. But to to win the playoffs, it's, you don't need uh, twenty five players to do that. You know, it's uh, it's um, three four games. So four games. So so that's uh, it's nothing to do with uh, the playoffs. So it's uh, more about to go all the way with. Uh, in a league and a tough league situation, we will of course we need to be more uh, more players. But uh, but right now I'm uh, I'm not worried about that. So there's no urgency to try to get some more help on top because if something happens to Castellanos or he gets suspended, which he's one yellow card away from being suspended, I mean there, there you don't you don't have another number nine. That's true. So but um, I think we have uh, talked about that before. It's very hard to get somebody in now. Because of uh, quarantine, uh, because of visa, um, all these different things. So that's, that's a tough, uh, tough uh, call. But if you have an opportunity, we will, of course, look for it. And um, if somebody has to full call of that, is is David. So so it's uh, it's it's a very strange situation for for everybody this uh, this season. Um, now, um, as I said, uh, you also. You have to find somebody inside the country then. That, uh, and then of course, you know, it's not easy to get get that um, here. It's not often a, a, something happens uh, like a loan or something. So, so it's uh, it's a difficult situation to get players in right now. Um, so, so I, I totally agree with you that, um, as I said, you are more vulnerable uh, now. If we get more injuries now, we will get. Uh, we we start to get uh, get um, a small depth in the uh, in the in the squad, but um, we talk about winning championship and, and the playoffs. Then uh, again, I don't think you bring the the yellow cards into into that one. Uh, I haven't that rule 
very clear for me, but uh, I, I think I asked about that. I don't, I don't think that will happen. But um, and then there will be more distance between the games. So um, so um, I think that's possible. All right, thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. All right, Mike Wallen. Hey, Ronnie, thanks for doing this. Um, I'm just questioning about the, the game coming up against Orlando. The last time you saw these guys was down in uh, MLS's back tournament, and they were pretty tough against you guys, had a tough day, uh, tough outing. How do you feel like the team has changed and evolved since the last time you played these guys, and what are you focused on with Orlando going into the game? Uh, it's uh, it's true they were good in that day. Uh, having said that, we were not maybe not on our best as well. We changed uh, a lot in the midfield and we changed the formation also in that game. Um, and we, we changed it back again and then we we created a lot of chances um, the last part of the game. Um, they are a good team. They are, haven't lost the home uh, I think this year, uh, so that's going to be a tough tough game. But uh, it's a big challenge for us. I think as uh, you say, we have. I think we have improved uh, lately. Um, there was a step down in the weekend, uh, but now we have to get up to the level that we, we know we can play at. Um, and um, for us, it's it's again improving, not changing. As all the time, if I'm, I don't believe in big changes, I don't see teams uh, in uh, the big uh, leagues or people that succeed that they change a lot. They, they try to stick with uh, what they believe in and uh, and also have consistency in in picking the team so I think that's that's going to be important for us in the, now and also in the future so we want to do things better and in the game in the weekend we, we did the easy things we did uh, not good enough so we have to do the easy things but I say the discipline thing the, the defensively has to be uh, at the standards that we had before, and um, and um, we have to move in the ball and uh, let them run after us, not we all after them all the time. That's uh, that's uh, it's basic basic things, but uh, at the same time, it's uh, sometimes hard, and especially in the heat, uh, that's going to be important to be very organized, and that we are really good on the ball, so we can cause them problems and uh, also almost rest a little bit when you when you have the ball. All right, Michael Ender. Ronnie, good morning. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, you mentioned uh, learning some things from when the team went down to play Miami. Uh, curious because it looked in that game like the NYCFC uh, got tired. Uh, if, you know, if that's going to change the way you press or how you're going to approach uh, Orlando? Yeah, I think uh, we learned a lot there. It's like you know how it feels in the humility and. The 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 heat, um, how to travel on the same day, how that affect, and uh, you know, so that's things you can learn something of, and then also how we act in the inside the game. That's uh, that's things we can improve there, um, and um, and um, that's one of them is of course to to be very clear and together in everything we do, uh, because if you start running one on one, then it's going to be a tough night for for everybody. Right, uh, Joe Tosin. Uh, Ronnie, kind of to piggyback off of that. Um, over the weekend, it, it definitely seemed against New England that maybe the number of games in a short amount of span had caught up, and guys really looked tired. Uh, how do you manage the rest of the schedule, knowing that it is such a compact schedule? Yeah, uh, it's a it's a challenge, you know. This uh, it's a, it's a new experience for a lot of the players as well because. They're not used to play so many games in a in row. I don't see any problem with that. But if you're used to it, so as, as I said to the players as well, life is about learning, and um, you learn through experiences and consistency. And that's that's the two things you know that you you now we we going through a lot of games, uh, which can talk about things, and we do. We try to teach and we try to get them to be conscious about everything they do outside and on the pitch. Having said that, you don't get a perfect physio to read a book. You have to go out and, and try uh, different things to, to learn what is right for you or not. So for me, this is, uh, you know, we do everything we can to, to, um, to rest and to 
to restitute and be mentally and physically ready and we're gonna we're gonna be that uh, at the same time um, <clears throat> it's a it's a learning curve in, uh, in this so um, we know we can beat everybody uh, when we are out of the best and uh, when you go through the 70 the, the, the games after the after the um, um, the bubble we have been we've been uh, it's only the game against Miami that we we didn't deserve to, to get something, and uh, and that's uh, that's a positive thing. You know, in the weekend, of course, that we we didn't perform as we want. So so we we need to to use our experience now from the last game uh, against Miami, and um, at the same time also um, do everything we can uh, prepare for uh, for the game. All right, and let's uh, end it here with Chris. Hey, Ronnie, um, thanks for the updates regarding uh, Max's injury. I just wanted to see if you could um, give some updates on the injuries to Zalalem and Tavon Gray, and we may be able to expect them back, as well as um, when uh, perhaps the team will, will or is expecting uh, Justin Hack back now that uh, the playoffs with his, uh, his lone team have ended. Yeah, uh, um, they are going to be out the rest of the season. Uh, Gideon and, and Taiwan, uh, they have operated uh, both of them, and um, that's going to be a two three months uh, recovery. So they is operated now to be ready for first of January. Um, and uh, Justin is finished now, so I don't know the rules uh, 100%, but of course uh, if he's finished, uh, he's finished now with the playoffs there, so he will return here and hopefully get uh, get in our squad as quick as possible. So that's of course something we, we want and, and need. Alright, thank you Ronnie. Thank you.